Hello everyone, I'm Daniela Olan and we're talking about radicals. An exponential number whose exponent is a rational number can be expressed as radicals. This is what we call radicand and this is what we call radical sign. And this is the index. The denominator of a rational exponent becomes the index of the radical number. So this is read as cube root of 8. So how about change exponential number to radical expression? How to change exponential number to radical expression? So here's our example. So first, this is what we call our base. And again, we call this numerator and this is our denominator. So how do we change this in radical expression? How about our denominator? So, yung denominator po natin, ito po yung magiging index. And ito, ito po yung magiging exponent. So, pwede hindi na rin natin siya isulat. Kasi yung 1 po, kapag 1 yung exponent, magiging visible na rin po yun. So, how to simplify a radical expression? Simplify the vision of radical. So, all we have to do is to take the square root of our numerator and our denominator. So, what is the square of our numerator? What is negative square root of 36? It is negative 6. Now, how about our denominator? What is the square root of 64? It is 8. So, is that our final answer? No. So, the way we can lowest term, the magiging final answer natin is equal to negative 3 over 4. Now, that's our final answer. So, how to solve multiplication of radicals? Multiplication of radicals. So, square root of 2 times square root of 2, then 2 times 2 is equal to 4, so kaya mo siya magiging square root of 4. Then, hanapin natin yung square root ng 4, which is 2. So, the answer is 2. How about division of radicals? Division of radicals. Square root of 28 over square root of 7. Hanapin mo lang yung factor ng 28, which is for that 7. Tapos, kung square root of 7, kakap mo lang siya. Hanapin mo yung square root ng 4, which is 2. Tapos, may iwan yung 7 mo lang, kasi wala naman yung square root. Then, kakap mo lang kung... So, how about the short term of division of radicals? So, cube root of 16 over cube root of 2. So, 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 
So, yung cube root, copy mo lang siya. So, magiging cube root of 8. So, ano nga pang cube root ng 8? Ang cube root ng 8 ay 2. Bakit? Kasi 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So, the answer is 2. So, about subtract of radicals. Subtract of radicals. 3 times square root of 18 minus square root of 2. Sa 18, hanap natin yung factors niya which is 9 plus 2. Then, 50, ikakopy natin siya. And then, hanap natin yung square root of 9. How about addition of radicals? Addition of radicals. 4 times radical 27 plus radical 8. Ito, yung, lang, yung 4, ikakakin mo lang siya. Tapos itong 27, hahanapin yung factor niya, which is 9.3. Ito, ikakakin mo lang ulit siya. Ito po, ikakakin lang ulit natin siya. Tapos hahanapin mo yung factor ng 9, which is the... 3, kaya magiging 4.3 Tapos, may iwan sa loob yung 3, kaya magiging radical 3 Plus, ikakapi na ulit yung 3 4 times 3 is equal to 12 Tapos, ikakapi mo lang ulit yung 3 Tapos, ikakapi mo lang ulit 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 Kaya po siya naging 13 Kasi may invisible one dito Kahit hindi mo, sa, mo siya isulat, may one dyan Tapos, radical 3 plus radical 3 is equal to radical 2 ulit. Ikakapod lang din siya. So, the answer is 13 times radical 8. That's it! Again, I'm Daniela Ula. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for update ka lagi sa mga bago namin videos. Bye-bye! Thank you for watching!